Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to part 3 of the walkthrough from the hidden levels coming straight at you. So yeah, we're going to continue from where we left off. Just first, we're going to have a quick check through the achievement list. And you know, as you see, this will be our progress so far. I doubt we're going to get all the uh, snowflakes and stuff in origami, but as you see, we got 1 out of 9 hidden snowflakes and 2 out of 13 origamis. So yeah, this is kind of, you know, hopefully it'll, we'll get more of those and again if you find the hidden snowflakes, which we don't, just shout us out, tag, feel free to tag them in the video. Alright, let's go continuing on. So first thing you want to do is kind of click on the table and on the table we need... Okay, we didn't need to do that, that was just me being silly. Right, go to the lady. <laughs> origami, I'm not sure if that counts, the achievement, but yeah, there's origami here. And you pick up the pen and pa pencil and the the little weird symbol thing and kind of I just went around a bit again. I don't know. I was different around like an idiot. I don't know why. So yeah, you go to the table. You use the pencil on the symbols and you got a, a little mini game where you just kind of scrape around. And you just scrape around like so until you. Kind of get the combination. So as you see to the left of us is a snowflake on the back of the chair. Of course, we go into hidden, kind of hidden. Oh no, we go into this chest here. Put the box code up against it, and we gotta kind of match them. So just simply do what I do in the video. You should be fine. Of course, we just got to spin this this one to the left all the way around again. I, I don't know why I had to do that, for, but apparently I did. So yeah, you just spin this one around again, and then it unlocks. Like so. So now it's a kind of a hidden object game. we got to find all the pieces. They ain't too hard. Yeah, I've pretty much found them all straight away without no real qualms. We're going through one by one. We're on our last piece now, and it's right there. So yeah, that wasn't too hard. And again, you can use mahjong to the bottom left if you really wanted to. And we get the king pawn. There's a snowflake there, by the way. There we go. Right back into Rust's office we go. And we want to go to this wardrobe at the back, and use the pawn. The king, sorry, on it, on the little slot, and then it moves over a bit, and we can pick up a little fragment there. And that's all you can do there for now. So we gotta go to this little chatting here. Now, if you get stuck with this, just pause and copy what I did. But well, I just got it straight away, luckily. See, like so. So yeah, if you do get stuck, pause and rewatch that. It's a blueprint of something in the hotel. There seems to be a hidden room between Susan's office and the viewing room. I need to get in there. Yeah, so you pick up the other pawn. Kind of a little note, backstory. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to quickly say I do apologise in getting this one out. Um, been a little delay but now I'm back I should hopefully get all the other parts now over the next few days before I release so yeah there won't be a few days and there we go this one just slides straight up and up we go to the corridor <laughs> these cutscenes are funny let's see the vault should be between the viewing room and Susan's office. that's it the blueprint says that the entrance is through the office. That's where I need to go. So 
So we want to zoom in into this little area here and take the, the pick a ball up. And this, you gotta put the gems in. No, don't bumper in the air and that don't work. So. And you want to use the scissor on this wallpaper, not the chisel. So yeah, use the scissors on the wall and underneath there's some pieces which you pick up. Like so, voila. And the next one's underneath the sign. So you want to put this diamonds in this clip first. And then next to the door, there's a green sign. Here we go, we click into this, remove it, and there's the other two pieces. And you want to attach them onto the diamond. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so now, we want to use the good old paper maneuver. So you put the paper underneath the gap, you don't put that there. I don't know why I was trying, I was adding, no, stop it. What am I doing? So yeah, you put the, the paper underneath there, so that the key falls down. And now you can just... There you go, you push the key in with the pick. Go to the paper, pull the paper and grab the key. And then you use the key with the door, but first you've got to put the, uh, that jeweled thing in the top, what you just picked up. Like so. There we go. And open sesame, we're into the office. I need to find the vault entrance and get the tape for Susan that was left inside. <laughs> so yeah, this um This is the next room. Just having a look at the, the records. You wanna move this to the side over here? There's the entrance to the vault. There's the entrance now to the I need vault. to get inside. Pick up the record like so and this little barrel arena. There's some little other pieces on there as well. If you wanna, you know, you gotta just move the paper there. And make sure you get the glue. Make sure you pick up everything from this table because it's quite a lot of stuff to pick up. And there's a light which I turned on and off for no apparent reason. And we want to go over there and collect this record as well. Broken records. There's actually origami in the back by the window. So we move this toe man and we take the third. And we want to use the ice pick on this to open it up and get the head of the ballerina. A recording. Of course, throw the three vinyls in there. And we got a little puzzle. And make sure to pe get the little spinner thing from in there. And we just throw the R in there. We can't do nothing with the S yeah. We need to go to the back to the table and fully reapply the ballerina. So when we fix the ballerina like so. Add the torso, add the head, add the glue. There we go, we, we added it all and added the glue. Now we want to go back to the desk, put the ballerina on the, the spin thing. And then use the key to wind her up. And then it should give you the other piece of this puzzle, the S. Yep, there's the top over there, you put the ballerina on top like that. And then use the key, and spin around you go. And there is the S, and there's also a tape, conveniently placed. God damn it, he's done it again. What happened, Raymond? Weekly wants to double his share. I told you. He owns the print house. I know, Susan, but I started it. Without me, he'd still be some pathetic little editor. What we gonna do about it, Raymond? I'll figure something out. All right, there we go. So you zoom into here, now we put the S in. And this puzzle's pretty simple. Move this one left, move that one left, down, cross, up and up, and just slide this across and symbols. The 
You'll see me click the origami now, I believe. There we go, right there. That, that was the origami. And into the vault we maneuver. So that's why they needed a vault to store mountains of cash. I need to find that tape he left for Susan. So yeah, pick up the wheel and put it on the cart like so. We can't do nothing with that just yet. Turn on, grab the coin and uh, turn on the, the UV light at the top. And it will give you 1 for 10, which is the combination to the safe. 1 for 10. So we're going to go to the safe now and do 1. 4 and 10, and it opens, and there's a hidden object seen in here too, and it's pretty straightforward again, so yeah. It took me a while to get started on this one, but once I got going, I was going fast, see? <laughs> Finally, we got that one done over with, and we find a ruby, which is great. We don't need to zoom into this, this was just me getting uh, a little carried away as usual. So we want to use the coin on the UV lamp. Like this, like so, and it'll detach the UV lamp. Remove the bolt. And then take the lamp, and there we go. And we can use this bolt on this chair, and we use the coin to tighten it up, like so. And we want to push the chair away and grab what's on the floor. Just have a go out with Lily Thompson. So we put the ruby into the case down here and open her up and grab the batteries which we'll use in the UV lamp. All the batteries into the UV lamp. Hey presto. And I was kind of fascinated in this so I don't know why. But we want to go back to the shelf, use the UV lamp on it. And wherever the fingerprints are that's where you want to click. There we go. Susan, if you're listening to this, I'm probably dead. Weekly is responsible for my death. You're in great danger, Susan. Susan. Go to the end near the ski lift where the girl died. You will find something that will guarantee your safety there. Plot twist. What the? The plot flickens. Hey, open it. Darn. <laughs> Drat. And at the top is an origami, as you've seen right there. I just clicked it up there. Hello? Please help. <laughs> he, he just appears out of nowhere. What are you doing there? Someone locked me in here. I think it was Weekly. Weekly? That's for sure his job. G give me a second. I should be able to turn off that fan. Big fan of him. There we go. He turns it off. Then you want to use the, the key, the coin, sorry, on the fan. There we go. Like so. And we open that up and 
Boom. Thanks, David. Without you, it would be hard to get out of there. David, can you tell me where I can find the old inn near the ski lift? I should be able to take you there, but a map would be helpful. I see one on that stand. So we're kind of coming up to the conclusion of part three. Yeah, hopefully part four and five will be up later today. We can make a new map thanks to that machine. I will fix the power. Search for some paper. And again, remember to... Like, comment and subscribe. So you want to zoom into this camera and kind of remove the lens. As you see on the back window in the middle, there's a snowflake. But yeah. So this puzzle's a little difficult, aren't we? Sorry, I'm jumping the gun. We want to make sure we get this little pick which I picked up. We're back out of here. We use the pick on the uh, lens. We remove the lens like so. Just click on it. There we go. And we want to go back to this and put the lens back on. Awesome. For for this puzzle, I uh, it's worth pausing when I get to it. I'll tell you. I'll let you know. But right now we gotta build the house on the the vault right there. So here we just gotta collect the the pipe. The pieces which aren't worth missing. Pretty simple. Just the doors, which is right to the left. There we go, guy. Gally. So yeah, this puzzle now, I'm going to attach the house and you're probably going to need to pause it to, uh... To kind of match the, the figurines on the Hurry desk. Up, detective. The weather is getting worse. So yeah, right. You'll see me now. Oh wait, sorry, I'm jumping the gun yet again. We need the paper first. So you're back out and... I'm going to zoom into this. Use the little paper knife, and then get the piece of paper and slot her in. I'm sorry for jumping the gun. I'm getting pretty tired. I've recorded this at 4am, so yeah. But again, I appreciate you putting up with my stupidity. So yeah, let's get out of this now. So yeah, we're going to use the sheet on this. And you're going to want to pause it once I kind of let you know. It took me a while to do this puzzle because I was kind of confuzzled. Right, pause it now, guys. Or something like that. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now oh, it's done. There we go. That's your solution right there. You got the achievement master cartographer. So I'll just let it pause it here so you can kind of have a see. Of where they're, they're meant to go. It's not too hard to navigate them. We get the cartographer and David shows up again. And you gotta hand him the picture. And yeah, as I said, to the back window, there's kind of a snowflake. You probably see me clicking now. No, not this one. But yeah, I hope to see, there we go, I clicked it now, right there. Okay, so yeah, I hope to see you in part four now, is it? Yeah, part four, that'll be cool. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Like, comment, subscribe. See you, bye.